Hello and welcome to Purple Fox Gaming. This is a preview video, kind of, of the new server because we've got 300 subscribers. I haven't actually really run a proper server for a while. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to be using this server hopefully for the event because I know a few of you were saying a survival game slash Hunger Games event should be the best because I saw that as well that some of you said you didn't have World of Tanks, you didn't have some of these games. So, for what most of you do have Minecraft, I think. So, we're going for this and hasn't been 100% agreed but basically I think it's probably the easiest one to do and organize and we are actually building up, we're putting a lot of effort into setting up the server and again after the event this will be on 24-7, it is on now so you can join if you just use minecraftcloud.co.uk as the IP should be able to join instantly should be pretty lag free, we've got all sorts of plugins if I just run you through some of them this is again a preview so there's going to be more plugins added all the time so it's going to change but got anti-grief p tweaks which is basically some sort of optimization which works very nicely actually it managed to keep ram usage low with players on because i know usually you can have a couple of players and you're already at like over one gigabyte of ram used which isn't too good so basically it kind of has tweaked it quite nicely with like around 400 500 with like sorry megabytes with a few people on which is actually pretty decent so it shows you could do now it has defaulted to 100 uh, slots although i'm not sure if we can actually hold that but we'll see how that goes anyway and world edit again normal players won't have access to that because otherwise you probably do stuff head spawn that's just like an admin utility for spawning in heads survival games I'll go through that that is essentially the survival games and what we're effectively going to be playing for the event no swear is something that we kind of agreed on just to make it a bit more friendly on the server instead of having any like profanity or any stuff like that going on so just basically stop insults possibly bucket compatibility essentially that's just muck my admin just like some sort of default plugin coloured size as we'll probably see in a second anti caps again to stop spam and stuff afk kicker i'm not sure if that actually works missions x still setting that multiverse a boot which is some sort of like kind of novelty plugin anti fire twitter board anti bedrock essentials okay well, that is pretty much what we have there i won't go through all of them because otherwise we'll be here forever but we've got the head spawn here a good example and you'll see i have set up multiverse call because i'm most of the time not too great at setting up yml but basically i've managed to set up the worlds all the same so well, not all the same so I mean as in I've managed to configure each world we have so that they work properly so this one here is the lobby so I've set this to be like adventure can't break anything apart from torches which is a bit unfortunate but there you go so yeah we can't break anything no griefing which is pretty good so we don't have too much need for anti-griefing which is quite nice so we don't have to worry about that and we kind of got like a little donations board which uh, Tom is kind of the head of although again we've got to kind of set that up a bit and I don't want to kind of seem like make this server seem corporate but basically it just makes it easier for us to kind of upkeep the server because essentially if this server does get popular uh, James is talking weirdly <laughs> not sure what he's doing but anyway uh, <laughs> there you go so yeah that's a boot coming into action there but anyway so yeah so basically if we do get donations we'll be able to <laughs> upgrade the server and like make it bigger providing it does actually get more popular in a sense I'm sorry, I'm trying not to laugh because James is wondering what's going on to kind of troll them a bit but uh, got the Twitter board here this is actually live it's got like a redstone repeater that's updating it although no one's actually posted for a bit so obviously it hasn't updated for that amount of time but anyway we'll go to the lobby quickly this will be a relatively short video but up here we've kind of got the arenas so we've got arena one which is the only one I actually set up which is um, slightly annoying because the other arenas we've got some good maps but we can't seem to get the arenas set up properly but there you go that one does actually work it's a pretty good map survival games does work perfectly it like spawns in the items each time randomly which is quite nice and <laughs> that's effectively all I have to show you today there is more again you can join and check it out because it's not white listed because there's nothing I don't think anyone can really do much to kind of destroy this place but there you go if you can don't exploit it because it's a bit annoying but there you go that's about all I have to say currently 
Uh, thanks for watching guys, hope you do join the server and remember to like and subscribe. I do have cousins coming over until Wednesday, uh, from Saturday to Wednesday, so I won't be uploading too much for them. hoping to maybe get another video done this evening, which I can upload at a later date, if I can, because I know I'm going to be slightly busy tonight. I should be able to do another one at least, but anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.